All right, the College World Series is beginning in Omaha this weekend. We're going to talk about it. I'm Kevin Spain with Gambling.com. I'm here with Chris Wassel. Chris, Wake Forest comes in as the number one overall seed in this tournament. They can score a lot of runs, but they also have three great pitchers. So they might have the best pitching staff here. What do you think about those guys? Look, the, big, the biggest thing Wake Forest right now is, one, consistency. Two, Ability to change speeds. You have three very good pitchers that can change speeds. They can go from the 60s up to, well, we have a couple guys that can top near 100 miles per hour. So mm-hmm. it's going to make a big difference come uh, bracket play because, as everybody knows, Wake Forest is in the bracket of death, Kevin. All right, I'm going to jump around. The team that was number one for a lot of the season, Florida, they made quick work of South Carolina in the regionals, they've been pretty dominant in the, uh, in the tournament so far. What do you like about the Gators? Biggest thing with the Gators is always is their balance. They find a way to win 50 games somehow. Like it's sort of water under the bridge. Um, their one main weakness as always is going to be their bullpen. I know some people think that's their strength, but however, against South Carolina in game one super regionals, uh, it got a little too dicey and against better teams or against more balanced teams, perhaps even like a hot TCU team, they could have some trouble. All right, Ed, there's a sound. Do you hear that sound, Chris? I don't know if you know mm-hmm. what that is, but it's a roar of RVs coming up from Baton Rouge to uh, Omaha because the LSU Tigers are coming. You know what that means for Omaha? It means a lot of beer sales. They need, they need to get more beer. That's exactly what that means. All right, the Tigers are coming to town, man. They might have the top two picks in the draft. What do you think about these guys? All right, LSU, the, always the hard part is Omaha for them. As everybody knows, LSU seems to always get there. They haven't won since 2009. The, the question with them will be, can they, can they get through? They need the win against Tennessee. They need to start off with a win. I think that's a big springboard for them as far as advancing through the tournament. Well, you brought up Tennessee. Uh, this was a team that started the season ranked number one. They didn't have the greatest of seasons, and they almost kind of backed into this tournament. Can they pull an Ole Miss and just kind of back in here and make a run? Why not? If it if it worked last year, why why fix the sucker? I mean, look, you got pitchers that you got a certain pitcher that throws about a hundred and two or so that yeah, he brings people it. are going to get very well known and acquainted with over the over the next uh, fortnight, as they say. Uh, good luck, strap on in if you're a Tennessee fan. This this could be quite a wild ride. All right, Virginia scores a lot of runs. Uh, or Roberts, that was some great comebacks they made against uh, Oregon. The way Stanford got in is amazing. TCU, of those four teams, do you see any of those teams kind of making some noise? The, the one team that I, I, I want to take a long shot on is Oral Roberts because there's so much unknown w- with this team, and there's a lot of bounds that people just aren't realizing. Look, this is this is the team that had slash rates, you know, three, you know, 300, 400, 700. They have five players. That's that's hard to duplicate. Uh, even I know college one D one is not the greatest sometimes, you know, with a team like Oral Roberts, uh, history wise. But you never know. All right, quick. Who do you like? Uh, I like I like LSU to finally find a way and get this done. All right, what's the one crazy bet people need to make that they're not need, thinking about? You 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 need to take Oral Roberts at plus three thousand while you can get it. Nice. I like LSU too. And I want to point out that in your preseason top 25, five of the teams that are here were in your top 10. So nice job there, Chris. Look, the, the preview was very rough this year. I'm not going to lie. Um, we, we do apologize for teams that start with an A, like Auburn, Alabama, and Arkansas. Though. Well, there's still three SEC teams there. So it looks like an SEC team uh, keeps the streak going. All right, so what you got to do, everybody, you need to hit that subscribe button. You need to like this video. You need to go to gambling.com and check out our news, our picks, our promo information. A lot of good stuff there.